Campbell Cannon and Carriage Works was given the honor of being selected to create six cannon and carriages for the San Juan National Historic Site in Puerto Rico. Five iron six-pounders and one iron three-pounder on mahogany garrison or plaza carriages. Our company is based in North Florida, so getting the guns where they need to be meant they had to go on an over 1,200-mile boat trip from Jacksonville to San Juan. And since these guns are not small, we reserved a 40-foot shipping container to get the job done. We custom-built a ramp to fit smoothly into the container, and up they went. The overseas journey for the cannon and carriages was expected to take about a week, so after they were loaded, we wanted to make sure the babies were all belted in for the trip. The shipping company said it was the best strapping job they'd ever seen. Once the shipping container arrived in Puerto Rico, we had it delivered to Castillo de San Cristobal, as this is the fort that is located at the outer edge of Old San Juan and is accessible to larger trucks. Now you may be thinking, hey, that ramp looks like the one you loaded them with. Well, it is. We broke it down, packed it up, and shipped it, then reassembled it in San Juan to unload. We unloaded all the cannon and carriages into a grassy staging area in San Cristobal. This is not their final destination, but the spot made for great photographs. Of the four cannon and six carriages we delivered, three full sets were staying in San Cristobal, and the other three carriages and cannon had to move to Castillo San Felipe del Moro. But getting them there wasn't as easy as driving the container truck to each fort to drop them off. Old San Juan streets are narrow, not a place a 40-foot container truck can drive. So, after unloading them at San Cristobal, we had to move them one and a half miles across town to El Moro. We manufactured a hitch bar that would fit right into the lunette on the trail of the carriage and allow the NPS pickup to pull it like a trailer. Mind you, a very slow trailer. So to save you the 15 minutes of watching the very slow drive, I'll speed it up. Now I mentioned we sent two carriages in addition to the four cannon with carriages. That's because a couple years ago we had shipped a pair of cannon down to the parks. Those cannon had been at Santa Elena Battery, waiting to be put on carriages. And with the help of a small gantry crane, we were able to get them in place. Now it's time to head to the fort. While it would be nice to be able to just drive the cannon into the fort, it was not feasible. So this job came down to brute strength and a little leverage to move the combined 1,700-pound fixture, 700-pound carriage and 1,000-pound barrel, into the fort. In this case, we strapped the barrel to the carriage so Lawrence could pull down on the barrel to take some of the weight off of the back half, and the rest of the crew hoisted the end of the trail and walked each one inside. We have a policy at Campbell Cannon and Carriage Works. You don't deliver a new Ferrari with dirty wheels. During shipping, delivery, and installation, the carriages suffered some scuffs and scratches. Especially in this case, where a mile and a half drive through the streets of Old San Juan wore the paint off the edges of the tires on the carriages. So we spent a few days cleaning them up before calling the job done. Now that I've shown you how we got the guns to Puerto Rico, let's take a closer look at the pieces themselves. These are replica Spanish iron six-pounder cannon and garrison or plaza carriages. Both are based on mid-18th century drawings from the Spanish archives. These are field-style carriages, but are not traveling carriages. And while the tires would usually have nails in them, these don't, so they won't damage the floors of the forts when they're being moved. That red shine to the wood is because the carriages are made of mahogany that's been linseed oiled for a natural finish and protection that is better than paint. Now let me share a few of my favorite pictures and a video.
If this is your first time hearing of Campbell Cannon and Carriage Works, let me tell you a little about us. Our specialty is pre-19th century style lost wax bronze cannon, bringing the forgotten art of these intricate, artistic, historic cannon back to life. Our bronze cannon are all vertically cast solid, then bored out in our foundry. Each one is custom made to order, so just like it was historically done, you can have us make the personalized cannon of your dreams. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.